first into the tank tonight, a physiotherapist hoping to rehabilitate her industry. I've been developing Halo for five years now, so what I'd like to see is Halo grow, and that's what I'm hoping that we'll have support to do today. My name's Hayley Warren. I'm CEO and founder of Halo Medical Devices. I'm here today to ask for 200,000 for 21% equity in our company. Halo Medical Devices was formed when I was a physiotherapy student. I saw a need to make sure we're getting the best tools out there for our therapists. So traditionally in physiotherapy, when we look at how the joints are moving and if we need to do any therapy on them, we'll use the standard goniometer so you can get an idea of what a goniometer is. I'd like to just show you what it does. So traditionally we'd hold it over, we try and make the uh, landmarks up, we guess what's happening here. You have to do it with two hands so you can't support the limb. And you're trying to do that because one assumes there's been an injury to the arm and the movement has been restricted. Is that what we're looking at? Is exactly. That... Traditionally you'd get them to do the range as well, he would bend his elbow up and then I would have a look what's happening here. It's very difficult to read the three numbers as well. And Hayley, is that the state-of-the-art product at the moment? John, that, this is the best on the market. You have got to be kidding. I know. So every practice will have from the finger goniometers, the small ones, right through to these. I've invented a device that does all joints in under five seconds. With the halo, the lasers will always go along any length of limb. You can always intersect with landmarks. Therefore, it becomes a repeatable measure and that's where we get our reliability off. So from here, we just zero it, which is a click of the button, and then we drop it round and I click through and I get the range. That's its huge selling point. The accuracy, the speed of use. Amazing. In terms of the journey with Halo, we started out in the R&D phase and we're now ready to scale. I made 500 units and we sold out in six weeks. I really want to get the product out there. I completely believe in where it's going. We're ready to press go. How, how do you start inventing this? I mean, how do you start from scratch? What do you first go to do and how do you progress it? I was working in um, hospitals, so in and out of those uh, physio departments for 10 odd years. So I talked to the physios. Is this something that's going to be a benefit? Is this something that's a need in the market? So I then went and found an industrial designer, a one innovator of the year. So Hayley, at this point we need to let everybody know that we know each other, don't we? I do indeed, so yes. I met yes. you uh, when yep. you were the winner of the Innovation Award and I was one of the judges yes. there. Yes, yes. Well done, by the way, on, you know, innovating. We love Australians who innovate. So do you have a patent? Patent is protected in the US, Australia and Canada. Right. Yep. And what's the cost of this to a physio? The business model is run off um, $245. Yep, and that's run through a wholesale business model. So is it the cost of the physio or cost of the wholesaler? Cost of the physio. And what do you make them for, mate? $65. Can you give us a lesson on how to use it? Press and hold the right hand button and you'll see the Halo logo come up. So once the lasers are on, you align the landmarks. It's got lasers. It's got lasers. They're a low class medical laser. It's a little accelerometer that just gives you the displacement from where it was zeroed effectively. Uh, exactly. Um, okay. Dual chip, magnetometer and accelerometer. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, that's really, really quite cute technology. Is this only for injuries or could this be for elite athletes seeing if they're actually becoming more flexible? Certainly both. So, for example, this week I've been screening with one of the top NRL sporting companies in Must Sydney. Must be the Rabbitohs if it's the top. <laughs> Must be. <laughs> the players are actually doing it on a daily basis. They're having a look at their range and monitoring it. Which is good because, I mean, more flexibility, better performance, one imagines. Yes. And you can't tell whether you've got more flexibility other than anecdotally unless you've got a device like this. So I imagine there should be a big market in elite sports clubs. Absolutely. How much does it cost you to get this far? To date, we've been supported by grants as well. We've put in um, 890000 Wow. That's including your own money plus grants, or that's all grants? That's my own money. Um, we have a, a few investors on as well who put C Capital in and the grants. So how much in grants, please, mate? Uh, 500,000. So what percentage do you have now? I have 80% and my business partner has 20. So what do you think sales will be 
Next year, get your investment. Everybody's happy. You're punching the air. We're looking at 2,000 units. 2,000 units at a gross profit of? The turnover in that will be 340,000. The cost of goods is 140,000. So in 12 months, you're going to have 200,000 in revenue. Yes, exactly. But you're valuing your business at close to a million bucks. Yep. When we start to open up to the Asian market, the European market, and the US market as well, we're going to see some big growth. Quite often people come here and they go, the US and all of this sort of stuff. But the time, the time, the money, like you nearly need to put away $2 million to launch into that market to get people on the ground. And to have the stock. That's why we've decided to go with medical distributors because they have marketing on their own costs. Yes, we supply them with um, ammunition to go and support the product out there, but it's a really low cost. We run really lean. Hey, Hayley, well done. It's a beautiful little device. The one thing that worries me is that I, I think you're not raising enough money for where you need to be in the future. And you're about to be deluded if you get this deal. I'm prepared for that. And that's fantastic, but at some point more money needs to be raised. So at what point do we dilute you past the point you no longer care about this? Well, look, uh, I, that's I a think... rhetorical question. I don't expect an answer for it. Oh, so really? OK. All right. I'm jumping out. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate your consideration. The issue I have with it is that I think for you to get your success and to get into America and to get into all those places, I think there's a long journey and a lot of cash to still to come into the business. I don't know how big the market's going to be for it, so I don't know enough about it, so I'm out. All right, well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. The challenge for me is I don't like investing in things that I don't quite get. I'm out. I really appreciate that. So Hayley, this is where I'm up to. I am really struggling with your valuation. Just because we look at history, we don't necessarily look at futures because futures are a very risky place. However, I am prepared to make you an offer. But it's not what you want. Hayley Warren has invented a device to bring physiotherapy into the 21st century. It's got lasers. Three sharks have opted out, but Naomi is ready to make an offer. So Hayley, this is where I'm up to. I am really struggling with your valuation. Just because we look at history, we don't necessarily look at futures because futures are a very risky place. However, I am prepared to make you an offer. But it's not what you want. My offer for you is for $100,000 for the 21%, plus $100,000 in loans because you need the capital. So that effectively halves your valuation. I really appreciate that. Um, if I can just open that up Why a little bit more. Why don't we just wait till the rest of the sharks are finished? Absolutely. OK, sure. One thing that worries me about you is the execution on the next year. I would have liked sales to be more ambitious because if you're putting that sort of valuation on your business, you want more in return. For all the wrong reasons, I'm going to... Uh, say to Naomi that if she wants to go halves, I will come in with her because I'd love to help you get it off the ground. Just for clarity, if Andrew wanted to do it without Naomi, is, is that what you're saying too? Or is it you just saying you just want to do it with Naomi? No, no, I, I'm saying I'm doing it on the basis that Naomi wants me in. I'm not in on my own. So Naomi, are you happy to have me in? Well, I think it should be great. Right. So you now have that to consider and maybe respond. Hayley, just bear in mind, this is the Shark Tank. Our offers are made seriously and with a great deal of thought. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I'm very excited to have an offer. I did follow you guys both very closely. And where we're going as a company in terms of the US and marketing, um, there's huge strengths in you both for those particular things. 
What I want to talk about just briefly with the, the valuation. I understand it's a bit high for you guys and I understand why as well. But I think halving it um, is, I don't know if it's um, that well justified. So I'd like to see if there's any movement in there to come from the 21% for, I guess, you know, a lesser shareholding for the same, same um, capital investment. Would you consider discussing that? Okay. Yeah. Do you like to reply? Mm. Hayley, this is my offer which I will be sharing with Andrew. Mm -hmm. $100,000 for 21% of your business mm -hmm. with $100,000 available on commercial terms over mm -hmm. two years. All right. Um, and Andrew, are you along the thought, same thought yep. process? All right. Well, then we would be delighted to hey. accept. So thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. It is the same take. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you hate this game? <laughs> Thanks All again. Best. Congratulations. Yeah, take care. Thank you. See you. Bye. Fantastic outcome because we can start to grow, we can serve the patients, we can fill the orders that we've got right here um, and really start to make a difference uh, on a global level. It's so rare to have an Aussie who can get something like that off the ground. I'm sick and tired of seeing our inventions go offshore and I would just yeah. love to, to continue. Gorgeous device. I, I love it.